Hello everybody, so I wanted to, to talk here about a little a really annoying issue in 3D code. Essentially if you do a mask using one of the regular tools like a circle or in your line or anything, it's a vector mask, it's pretty nice, you get a really clean a uh, really clean line so it's pretty efficient. But the moment you switch to pixel masks, uh, alpha masks, uh, using for example a stencil here and you do and you try to get the square here <coughs> and square here using the tool you can see the difference is huge the square on the right is not really perfect but the square on the left doesn't even look like a square right so I was looking I was really struggling with this issue and it turned out that the best mask you can do is actually to have it slightly blue you know you make an alpha that's it's got a few blurry edges and that alpha will get you a really clean line it's pretty clean. Uh, <coughs> 3D code itself has already got few alphas that have like squares slightly blue. Like this one is a pretty nice square compared to well just compared to this line. Alright. So essentially if you're doing some kind of complex alpha in Photoshop, what you want to do is really go and blur it in Photoshop. So right there I have it here just a rectangle of the blur and you'll play around with the amount of blurriness you get on the edges to get a best shape so you can ask me like if you blur it in the end you, you get the corner like this and if the question is how to get the corner which is straight I don't know a perfect I don't know the answer to that um, essentially I have to leave it there that all my squares will be slightly rounded but in most cases they are already slightly rounded just because of I don't have enough polygons to make them 100% you know sharp squares and I usually re really don't need it and uh, and that's you know already pretty nice result when I have it slightly there it actually looks a bit nicer than regular squares but if you really need a 90 degree angle Sorry guys, you cannot really help. Maybe you have a different solution. Definitely guys, share your method in um, in comments. It's been really helpful that section. And uh, see you next time.